everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hermione and on this channel I like to share with you how you can craft your best life on a budget. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a thrift haul, a homeware thrift haul because I haven't done that in a really really long time and if you guys saw one of my recent videos you will know I've just bought my own home and I'm so excited to decorate it so the past few months I've been going a little bit wild in the charity shops and I found some really good things that I cannot wait to share with you guys. First thing out of the pile is this little blue vase. It's so sweet, it's blue with this orange line detail through it. It's really lovely, I love ceramic pieces. I think they're so pretty, especially when they look handmade. And this looks pretty handmade. It doesn't have any information on the bottom as to where it was made, so who knows? This was only 50p in the Save the Children shop, so I couldn't pass that one up. Let me just pop that one down here, because it matches. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got like a whole blue theme going on, so that's the end. From the same shop on the same day, I found this really sweet little wooden box, and this was only £2, and it's just a square kind of jewellery box style box, and it's got this kind of square pattern on the top as well. It looks really nice. I wonder where this is from, as it doesn't actually have any information on it, like on the bottom, so it could be from some land far away, or it could just be from TK Maxx down the road, but nevertheless, I think it's really nice. Next up is this massive circular mirror that I'm going to have to put down and show you guys in a cutaway. I picked this up in the local hospice shop. It was originally £5, I got it for 4 and it's just this cream massive circle mirror. I have been looking for a circular mirror for so long, I nearly caved and bought one in the range for like £20 or £30. And then I found this one and it's even bigger and I'm so happy and thinking of putting this in my office but I'm not sure whether to spray paint the edges white or gold because it's looking a little bit grubby. But yeah, just goes to show you if you've got your eye on something, you should definitely check out your local charity shops. If you keep looking, you might find exactly what you wanted in the first place for a fraction of the price. That's probably the best thing that I found in any charity shop for a long time, so that's a pretty big win for this video. Next up is this circular wicker tray. This was one pound from, I think it was the Kansas a research store and it's just basically a circle and it's got a very thin lip around the edge and two little handles and I just love how delicate this was and I thought about just using this to collect maybe my perfumes or even to hang it on the wall because I keep seeing people do that a lot on Pinterest and I spend a lot of time on Pinterest if you haven't guessed by now and my wallet is not very happy because I end up buying stuff like this because Pinterest told me to do it. Anyway, I just thought this was really nice and for a pound I couldn't pass it up. I have managed to find a lot of wicker and cane items recently. I saved you from featuring them all so I'm just gonna show you this one. But you'll probably see them in the new house very, very soon if you keep watching. I've got two plain white plant pots. This one was £1.99 from the British Heart Foundation and this was £1.50 from the Save the Children shop and they're just plain white. This one has lined texture all down it and this one is more geometric shape if you can see that and I like collecting white plant pots because I have a lot of plant babies and <laughs> I just think they look really nice in white pots that look all different shapes and sizes. It just it's a little bit interesting without being too overwhelming, so yeah, I uh, picked those ones up. This one is just fresh out of the wash. It's a throw pillow cover. It's just a square, and it was £1.49 from Age UK, I think, and it's just textured. It's got this kind of grid pattern on the front, and then these tassels all the way around the sides. It's not in brand new condition, but I kind of like that. It does look a little bit like something you would find in anthropology, not gonna lie, so I had to pick it up for £1.49. Also, from the same shop on the same day, I picked up another cushion cover which was also £1.49. I will insert some clips of it here because it's currently in the wash at the moment, but it's just cream and white and this kind of lime green colour that I'm really into right now, and it's got a really nice texture to it, and I thought that it would go really nicely with this white one as well. They looked good together in the shop. So I managed to spend £3 on two throw pillow covers, and I'm pretty happy with that. 
Next up, I found this gold textured cocktail shaker. Um, I picked this up for 99 pence. And the reason I picked this up is actually because I think it will look really nice on my bar cart in the new house. It's gonna sound really silly, I probably drink alcohol slash cocktails like maybe twice a year. I'm not a big drinker at all, but I just thought it would look really nice on the bar cart and it was 99p and you, I mean I might entertain, I might have one of my three friends <laughs> to have cocktails, but when I do I will be sorted. So I thought this was a bargain. It was 99p. It looks very similar to some of the ones they sell in Anthropology for a lot more. And actually, this is actually from Marks and Spencers. I saw this in there the other day and they just fill it with like chocolate truffles and it's 15 pounds. So I thought this was a pretty good bargain. Someone started cutting the grass. You've got to be kidding me. Please ignore that while we move on to the next item. I picked up this rattan lampshade, which I'm in love with. It's so pretty. It's just got this gorgeous scallop detail and I like it because it's very simple. There's no kind of patterns or any weird things going on in it. It's just plain old rattan and it was two pounds from Cancer Research, which I think is a bargain. And I'm just gonna put it on like a lamp base or even maybe hang it from the ceiling. But I thought that would look really pretty in the new house. If you can't tell, I'm really into like natural fibers and textures at the moment. I like a lot of rattan and wood. And when I saw this photo frame, I had to pick it up. It's just a plain old wood photo frame, originally from M&S, so I'm sure it's decent quality. It was £2.99. I actually picked up two of these. I just thought I would show you the one, the other ones up at the house already. But I thought these were really nice. I think they're five by seven, so they're a decent size. And they've got a really nice matte on the inside as well. Nice and modern and sleek and just pretty simple. So I thought they would look good maybe in my office or the sitting room. Another item that I'm only gonna show you one of because I only have one on hand. I had to bring this stuff back from the house. I got really excited and put it all up in the house and then realized I hadn't filmed it yet. So I just brought the one back. Anyway, I picked up two of these glass jars. They've just got silver lids and they're just plain old glass jars and they were £1.99 for the two. And I thought they would look really cute with like little pom-poms and craft supplies in them on my shelves in the craft room slash office. So that's what those are for. And now onto my weird item of the week. I don't think I can do one of these hauls without finding something completely strange and unusual. And today, I think I did pretty well. I found a plastic hand. It's, um, Kind of creepy, but I think this will look really cool with my jewellery on it because this is the kind of thing that they sell at Urban Outfitters for like 20 plus pounds. So I was like, yes, I'm going to buy that for 50p. Yes, it's just plastic and I guess it could be vintage. I see these a lot in vintage shops actually. So I couldn't, I couldn't leave this one behind. <laughs> And then I picked this one up, it's kind of boring, it's just a white wicker basket and it's got a really nice cream linen-y kind of insert in it, it's nice and plain and anytime I see these I pick them up for my new bathroom because I already have a few of these and they're quite easy to find in charity shops, plus if they have the lining in it you can just take the lining out and wash it and then it's nice and simple. I think this was £2.99, so I thought that was pretty decent. And lastly, I'm not gonna pick these up because they're full of junk already and they're pretty heavy, but I found this mini chest of drawers unit for £4.99 in the local Oxfam shop, and I thought it would be really nice for storage. It's very similar to the ones that they sell in Ikea, and I thought maybe at a later date I could hack this and I could do some kind of fun DIY project with it, so maybe you'll see it in a future video for for the time being it is just storing extra beauty products and makeup and pens and just junk so it's doing a good job <laughs> that's everything i have to share with you guys today if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and i hope the lawnmower noise wasn't distracting you as much as it was distracting me if you want to see more thrift hauls do let me know i'd love to hear back from you because i have loads of clothing items i found recently but i guess i'm just going house crazy and i just want to show you homey stuff so i don't know if you want to see that let me know and i hope you guys have a great week i will see you in my next video um yeah see you then <laughs> bye